two years ago, Gameloft released yet another epic arcade racing game Ashore 9 Legends, successor of the Airpen Arcade Asphalt 8. Launched worldwide on July 25, 2018, the new series available on the Windows, Android and iOS in no time quickly made it to one of the most top-rated and popularly played games. The Ashapult series well, reputedly known for their untimely earth-shaking delivery of immense performance at daring buried and addicted stunts did not fail to reciprocate in the current series. With smooth gameplay, high-res graphics, above-average controls, put things in the right perspective and gamers are sure to be glued to the spirit of gaming for long hours in addiction. Giving one more than they bargained for, Asphalt Legends packs itself with cool features and unexpected thrill of physics effects, with about 50 aesthetically graded lineups of speed machines in their order of performance, great customization rights, 70 tracks with 60 seasons and about 800 races, and the all-time multiplayer choice. For the first time in the Asphalt series, you can create a community of like-minded racers, collaborating to unlock milestone rewards and rising up ranks on the club leaderboard. Sadly, the game seems to be officially unavailable on some devices which begs fans to ask, is Asphalt 9 going away? Theories have been put to answer fans' questions. But Gamelog seems yet to give valid reasons on the question of incompatibility on some devices. Like every game's released, the good sides and the bad sides exists and Asphalt Legend is not an exception. There's been some wranglings flooding commentaries in which fans took the opportunity to voice out their displeasure of certain features that were taken out in the current release of Asphalt 9 series unlike its predecessor Asphalt Airborne. The first ones is the racing modes. Asphalt 8 Airborne released back in 2013 featured quite a wide variety of racing modes to keep the thrill and the heat on. These included, Classic, Unplugged, Flawless, Grand Finale, Versus, Ultimate AI Challenge, Ace Race, Elimination, Knockdown, Infected, Gave Drift, Tag Racing, and Showdown Racing modes. However Asphalt 9's racing mode is restricted to about 4 racing modes. Which includes Classic, Time Attack, Split Strength, and Hunted, with the Hunted combining elements of Time Attack and Flawless race modes. Now, way too low and unexpected in the veteran Asphalt history. Second is the number of vehicles. Well remember the Asphalt Airborne, which had a good number of vehicles no less than 273 with about 14 motorcycles and the rest cars, giving fans an opportunity to re-ray racing with any type of vehicle of their choice. But this is not possible in the current Asphalt series as it is solely restricted with cars for racing. Third, no new experience in the multiplayer community while it's definitely a new dimension with the coming of the multiplayer community mode, it's just the same old racing rules with predefined structures and predefined tracks. It could have been a lot more fun if there was some free hand considering it is a community racing club. The game developers could have added free zone racing with little or no wall barriers and a bit challenge, defiling cops rules and getting away with it. More like the scenario on the NFS window games. Fourth, annoying game controls. Fans have continually voiced up their displeasure on the Asphalt 9's manual control mode with the sensitivity, which sometimes reverts back to 50% every time a race is completed, unlike the Asphalt 8 Evans predecessor. With well-expected features absent in the current Asphalt game, one will think the game developers wasn't passionate on making Asphalt Legends much more than just a mobile racing game. Asphalt 9 not being available on some devices especially on Google Play and Windows Store could possibly mean that decisions on its discontinuation are being carried out, as such as the usual fate of most games on Google Play. But Asphalt Airborne is still readily available on the Android Play Store. Asphalt 9 could still be available on other stores on the Android platform, however it does not help as possible issues might arise from downloading with other stores.